Travis, thanks so much for your time. When you look at you guys, big picture, if you had a little bit better goaltending and a healthy Taylor Hall, how do you think the year would have broken out for you guys, broken down for you guys? Well, it's, uh, I mean, it's hard to predict anything, but, uh, you know, I think coming off the year we had the year before where we made the playoffs, uh, we, we had some excitement coming in this year. Um, but for whatever reason, things, uh, you know, didn't go our way. Uh, you know, you lose your MVP for most of the season, and like you said, um, goaltending is a big part of, uh, of making it to the playoffs and obviously going deep in the playoffs like we've seen so far. So uh, we have all, you know, all the faith in our goaltending going forward here, I think. Uh, with Schneider uh, coming back from injury, he, he's looking uh, like his old self. Travis, you know you've been in somewhere for a long time. When I can remember covering your draft at <laughs> Raleigh, North Carolina, I won't forget it because the first time my yeah. son, who's now 16, uh, saw the Stanley Cup, and he was a toddler at the time. But I remember that draft, 04, but you've been with the same team now for all these years what does that say about not just yourself, but also about just the stability to be able to be in one place for this long? What does it mean to you? Well, it, it means a lot. It's, it's been hard to, uh, you know, for guys, whatever reason, to, uh, to stick around with one team, I think, free agency and uh, um, the chance to go win in different situations. You, you've seen guys leave teams, but I've been pretty fortunate uh, to be with the Devils and and with Lou Lamorello bringing me in and now with Ray here believing in me and uh, wanting me to, to lead and, and help uh, young guys develop here. So uh, pretty fortunate to be, you know, in one spot, like you said, uh, as long as I have been. And you mentioned Taylor Hall. What, can you imagine a guy who's been with a team and they always get the number one overall pick? Like, that's some lucky charm you guys have there. Yeah, it's, it's uh, hey, we'll take it. It's fantastic, <laughs> I think. Uh, everyone was pretty excited in the organization when, when uh, you know, we saw the Devils uh, logo again at, at the number one here in the draft and you know it's a chance to pick the guy we really want and uh, you know I think like all of us we've seen these top two guys and and what they're capable of and you know we're gonna get a heck of a player. Travis uh, in a lot of ways the league is skewing younger and yet you at the age of 33 just turned 34 last week happy birthday how are you how are you able to maintain your high level of play now as you become older and obviously over a decade here in the NHL. What are the challenges like as you go forward here? Well, to be honest, it's just staying healthy. I think as long as, uh, you know, I can stay healthy and, uh, you know, mobile, strong, and uh, you know, just take care of my body and get to the right rest, I, I feel like I can play for another, you know, four or five years. And um, I think I, I depend a lot more on my, uh, you know, smarts now and, and you know, uh, battling for the pucks at, at right times. And uh, I think you, there's a hockey sense still involved in the game today, which, uh, you know, uh, can, can help you a lot. Well, I mean, you probably have seen it more than anyone because of the amount of time you spent in the league now is the transition of the game from, you know, a hockey sense will get you through anything, obviously, but what is the speed of the game like for you that have seen the game really transition now to that up-tempo and just tons of speed now? Yeah, you know what? There's no time off anymore in, in every situation in the game. Um, guys are flying, you know, back check, four check. Um, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, penalty kill, there, there's, there's no time off. There's, uh, there's no time to, you know, make plays. There's less and less room on the ice. So I think that's where these young guys are – are so great is their skill of, uh, to make plays in, you know, tight areas, through sticks, uh, through skates. Uh, it, it's been good for the league, and um, it's it's going to be good for us going forward. We have a, a, a great group of young guys and, and core players who are going to push you, push this team in the right direction. You know, Travis, talking about the speed of the game, and then you look at the playoffs and some of the officiating problems that have arisen. Has the game become too fast for the officials? Well, I... Uh, you know, that's a good question. <laughs> I, I put I you on the spot there. You, know, you want to get him in trouble, but yeah. No, it, it's it, it's fast, but I think that the plays that we've seen in the playoffs, they they were just missed, missed calls, and I think, you know, they're, they're going to happen in games, and uh, it's unfortunate that it's happening in, at the biggest stage right now in the playoffs, and um, not only that, they're, they're costing teams games. It's not just... Uh, um, 
you know, regular season where it's a point or, or two points, this is this could, you know, make or break your season and send you home. Is it something that you think the players need to get together with the league in the offseason, discuss it, uh, whether it's expanding review or removing review, something like that? Is it, is it enough that you've seen in the postseason that perhaps it's time for the players to approach the league once again about it? I think so, but I think it's got to go one way or the other. Either you're, you're getting rid of review or you're, you're adding to it and you're adding a couple of refs, you know, in the press box to, to really go over every goal mm-hmm. in every situation. So uh, you can't just be in the middle and have it uh, go one way or the other. It's got to be either all or nothing, I feel like. So, Travis, you got the house in Short Hills, you got the three kids, and you have the marriage, your high school sweetheart, Nikki. Oh. Look at this here. Wow. What, what do you have here, Travis? Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, that was, that was way back. That was, uh, <laughs> pre-college maybe. So, um, but, uh, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm blessed. I got, uh, you know, three beautiful kids. Uh, my wife, uh, you know, does a great job during the year of, of holding the fort down. So, uh, pretty fortunate to have, uh, you know, those people in my life. John Wallace likes the hat in that first picture, no question about it. Hey, Travis, thanks so much for joining us, and uh, enjoy the rest of the summer, okay? Great. Thanks for having me, guys. For more great videos from the MSG 150, check out our right there. And remember, our show is on Monday through Thursday, 8 to 10.30 p.m. on MSG Network and MSG Go.